morning, good morning, everybody. This is Scott with another great episode of Bed Bugs in the News. What's exciting this morning is I'm actually at a bed bug conference all day because I believe, as a as a pest control expert and bed bug expert, I want to get as much information as I can to bring it back into the field. What I have with me this morning is I have Chang Lu. Chang Lu is the urban entomologist for Rutgers University. Good morning. How are you? Hi, right, I guess he is. So Chang Lu just gave a little presentation this morning about bed bugs. I just wanted to ask you a couple of questions, if that's okay. Sure. I want to go to most of my audience are homeowners. And uh, sometimes before they call in a pest control expert, they go into these big, uh, big supermarkets or big home improvement stores, and they're picking up the chemicals themselves, and they're trying to do it themselves because every manufacturer is marking bed bugs, bed bugs, this kills bed bugs, that kills bed bugs. However, we know it's not true. They're not getting the effectiveness that they need. Could we kind of like explain to them in like maybe a minute or less of why they're not being effective and why they shouldn't do it themselves and why they should call in a trained professional? Um, first of all, um, the, uh, uh, res the consumer products on the market are not very effective and um, most of the effective chemicals actually are only for professionals. So they really should uh, uh, to ask for uh, professionals to come to treat their apartments because those the use of those chemicals need a license. Uh, secondly, uh, the effective control of bed bugs need a combination of non-chemical and chemical tools. Many of the non-chemical tools are only actually uh, available for professionals, and the professionals know how to use those, uh, those tools to help them get rid of bed bugs. Thank you. Now, you say a key word, professionals. Would you agree or disagree that based upon the professional, there, there's there's money involved, correct? Mm -hmm. And and that if if you got a guy that's walking around, he's just basically what we call a spray jockey. He's not coming to classes like this. He's not getting the training. He's not staying up to date. Is that guy considered to be a professional? Um, a qualified uh, professional should have a, a certain uh, training, like they have certain credits, uh, in order to uh, be licensed. And uh, a good technician needs to consider uh, every aspect of the bed bug uh, biology, ecology, so they can use uh, the best uh, combination of technologies in order to provide uh, the best control, uh, the lowest uh, risk to the residents, and uh, at uh, affordable cost to the residents. And uh, not every professional, professional certainly uh, you know, use the same way, but uh, certainly uh, the uh, good technician should consider these different options, not just uh, using chemicals. Good. And you do a lot of study. That's basically just doing a lot of bed bug study. A lot of things are being thrown at you. This morning, actually, uh, he talked about dry ice. And I know when I'm in a field, customers saying, oh, did you see that article on dry ice? And uh, dry ice was used not as necessarily a control method, but as an attractant to try to determine the size of the population of the amount of bed bugs that's there. That's right. Uh, dry ice trapper is just a tool, additional tool, to help you uh, monitor the bed bug infestation. Uh, similar as the NetWatch and CPC 3000, they are all uh, useful, you know, just uh, to uh, detect the infestation. It's really not a control tool. I got you. So you see, this is the urban entomology tool. It's not a control tool. It's more used in my industry as an effective tool so we can monitor levels of infestation. We can then take counts. We can determine if the program is actually being effective. What would you say to some of these companies? Again, you know, there, there is a consumer alert here when it comes to price. Some people can't afford it. Some people always want the cheapest way out. And they call in a company. The company comes in. Maybe the company charges them $100 to do a treatment. And then the company never comes back. Is that an effective treatment for the homeowner? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I think uh, from my experience that uh, an effective control needs uh, several trips. Yeah, Usually one I service is not uh, effective uh, unless uh, you use uh, say fumigation or a whole house treatment with heat. Uh, that can be done with one service. But usually all other um, methods need uh, several trips so that uh, they can follow up and do 
uh, retreatment when they find the bell bugs. So that certainly can cost uh, more than $100. Uh, I think that uh, people should be prepared because the similarly the labor, the material involved in the good uh, bed bug control would cost them more than $100. Good. So just to recap, so Chang Lu went over, you know, met a bed bug seminar. We just talked about the effectiveness of treatment. We talked about dry ice and how it's used as a monitoring process for the pest control expert, not necessarily for the homeowners. He also went over that most of the stuff you're going to buy in the store is not going to be effective. The, what's going to be effective is the products and procedures and chemicals that a professional pest control company is going to use. We also talked about that word professional and what exactly that means as compared to somebody just spraying around. Sometimes the people see that everybody got the same equipment and they think that eh, the, the one guy got the same equipment as the next guy, he must be doing the same job. However, that's not the case. As far as moving forward, what, what can we expect in the bed bug field as far as, you know, what you're kind of going after and what research you're doing now as we move ahead? Uh, we will continue to uh, study the uh, bed bug biology and ecology, how we can uh, develop uh, some more effective uh, monitoring techniques and uh, more effective uh, non-chemical tools so that uh, we can uh, reduce the cost and increase the effectiveness of the tools. Uh, certainly some chemical companies are still trying to uh, find a better formulation or better uh, active ingredients in order to fight the current uh, bed bug infestations. I think with all these different efforts from the industry, from the researchers, and from the uh, uh, professionals, we can uh, provide a better control in the future. Good, great. Now this is why I would always recommend if you're in a local area to go with a company like Pest Plus or go with us because you can see that we spend the time, we get the research, we, we have complete access to our urban entomologists in the area as well as other professionals that can help us. And we're constantly growing, we're constantly understanding, we're constantly getting educated. And that's why actually my company offers 100% guarantee. That's good. <laughs> and we do. We, we don't pull any punches. We uh, do the treatments. If people are not satisfied, we go back and spend as much time as needed to fix that problem. So we stand behind everything we do, 100% you know, guarantee on eradication. We're very confident because we have people like Chang'e that we can turn to and say, hey, something's working or something's not working. So until next time, I appreciate you spending a few minutes with us. You're welcome. Thank you very, very much. I'm Scott Lindy from Pest Plus, 732-777-6857, or feel free to visit my website at www.pestplus.net. Until next time, I'm Scott with Chang Lu. You're not. We'll see you later. Bye.